Joining us right now to talk about the potential need for more economic stimulus out of Washington is Larry Kudlow. He is White House National Accounts, Economic Council Director. Larry, it's great to see you. Thank you for joining us today. And uh, maybe we can just start with the number of coronavirus cases. We, we have seen more cases out there. I know part of that's because we're doing more testing, but a, a higher percentage of those tests coming back have been coming back with more positive results in some places, too. What, what do you think? Actually, I, I, I think nationwide, Becky, uh, the positivity rate is still quite low, um, well under 10 percent. Now, I, I do agree. Um, the numbers quoted to me by the health people, I'm not the expert, they are. Uh, over the weekend, there are 37 states that have virtually no problems. There are 13 states that do have hot spots. By the way, it, part of that is uh, massive new testing. We're running 500,000 tests uh, per day. So you're going to pick up some. But I was just interested. I was going through it this morning. Uh, some of the hot spots that you probably have talked about, Arizona, no question about it. Um, Florida, no question about it. Nevada, uh, North Carolina, Oregon, Texas. But on the other hand, Becky, just to balance it out, I'm looking at this uh, Colorado down 30 percent uh, here, the Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. metro area down 31, Illinois down 36, Massachusetts down 27, Michigan, that's really something, they're down 80 uh, percent on case rates. So, <laughs> you know, there's, there are some hot spots. We're on it. Uh, we know how to deal with this stuff now. It's come a long way since uh, last winter. And... Um, there is no second wave coming. It's just, you know, hot spots. They send in CDC teams. We've got the testing procedures. We've got the diagnostics. We've got the PPE. And so I really think it's a pretty good uh, situation. Fatality rates, incidentally, fatality rates continue to decline. Uh, looking at the one-day and seven-day fatality rates, uh, less than one-half of one percent, uh, even while... Uh, as you noted, cases have gone up in some places. So all in all, I think it's a pretty good situation. And, of course, reopening the economy is the key to economic growth. And we've had a whole bunch of green shoots that are showing uh, recovery probably coming on faster than a lot of people thought. Hey, Larry, we, we spoke with Scott Gottlieb earlier today, the former head of the FDA. And his, his point is that in some of these states where you are seeing hot spots, it's a lot of the younger people, people ages 30 and younger, who, who are getting it at this point. Um, the good news is a lot of them do not have the same sort of adverse reaction to some of these things. The concerning point would be, do they spread it to their parents, to their grandparents, to other people they're around who, who may have some underlying issues? And I, I guess... Nobody wants to see the economy shut back down. We want to get out there. We want to make sure things can open up. But would you be in favor of targeted places? Um, if you find out that it's linked to bars and it's 30 years and, and younger who are kind of spreading it, would you be in favor of, of shutting down potentially some of the bars or slowing things down just so that it, things don't get out of hand? Well, look, I, again, I'm not the public health expert. I think that sort of thing is up to the individual states, the governors, uh, in some cases, the mayors. Uh, Scott Gottlieb is a, a dear friend and a brilliant guy. I'm sure he told you how important it is to maintain best practices, uh, social distancing, yeah. um, where applicable. Again, it's voluntary, but where applicable, uh, face uh, masks, uh, some kind of cloth face mask, and again, uh, get testing where possible. I I'm not going to advocate shutting down any place. Uh, just if, if that's what the locals think is necessary. But again, the costs of shutdown in economic terms, in psychological terms, uh, in addiction terms, I mean, we've learned a lot uh, mm -hmm. since last February. So uh, I'll leave that to the locals, but I, I sure hope not. I mean, look, we're in a position now, and again, I want to get back to the economic story. We're in a position now, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to come on much stronger in this recovery uh, than a lot of folks thought, uh, maybe than we thought here. And, you know, there's been a whole bunch of green shoots on retail sales, uh, on employment, on new mm -hmm. business applications, on travel and Apple mobility indexes. Uh, housing demand is strong. Mm -hmm. Auto demand is strong. This is great stuff. The employment was up three million in May. The early estimates are about three and a half million new jobs in June. That comes out July 2nd. Just as a reference point, the Congressional Budget Office is suggesting uh, 20% plus Q3, perhaps Q4. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, if you get uh, 20 percent and you get a 5 percenter in Q1, Becky, that will get us back to the prior peak in the economy in 2019. That is wonderful news. And the temporary layoffs and furloughs, folks are going back to work. So I think the rescue package was solid. And I think the economic numbers are coming on great. We'll all hope and pray it continues. And look, let's have best practices on safety guidelines.